guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down, listen to the music by the Doobies. All right, let's get into it. Um, anyway, thanks for the support. Subscribing, if you haven't, I appreciate that. And if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, I have some free courses at my website, martymusic.com, and you can check the links below. So thanks for that. Let's dig in. All right, this song's in the key of E, and it's using what I like to call the Hendrix major chord. So you've got an open E, which is convenient for the E major chord, but then we're gonna bar across the ninth fret, starting on the A string. We're not gonna hit the high E string. If you can avoid it, good. But we're gonna hammer the 11th of the A string. And that's the E major Hendrix chord, an inversion of this. So. So what's going on there is you're hammering this chord. And you can let the open E ring out to help give you that bass note. Hammers the second time, so hammer again. We're gonna hammer, while still holding that bar, the 11th fret D and the 10th fret B string. And that's actually an A major inversion, if you, those three notes right there. Or it could be called an E, uh, e suspended fourth. So you hammer that shape up. And then those two fingers come off and you're hearing that. So all together. Now, as like a cover singer, and there is another guitar that comes in that's that's playing more of the basic chords. You got that basic E and A vibe in there. So now let's get into when the vocals come in. You're playing the main part E. So instead of finishing halfway through, it goes to a C sharp minor chord. So I'm playing it right here. One guitar, I think it was probably playing it right there because of that. I think this one's a little more comfortable. Same chord. Uh, so I'm barring fourth fret and then playing an A minor shape. Then a whole step down, but the A major shape. So that's called B major. And then finally A major. And then we add a sus to that, which you can add the third fret B string. Back to the main chord. So I'll play it with a little more up to speed. Here it comes the other chord. C sharp minor, B. Then the A. Let the music play. Let's do it one more time. Then it goes into from this. Whoa, oh, listen to the music. Next part, it's C sharp minor. Whoa, whoa, listen 
to the A chord, C sharp minor, then the A chord, C sharp minor, then the A chord, F sharp seven. So that's second fret barred, E major shape with the pinky off, it becomes F sharp seven. And then up to A, and I'm just gonna play the open A, but it could be a bar if you want. So that chorus, C sharp minor, A major, C sharp minor, A major. Whoa, whoa, listen to the music, F sharp seven, A. That's the whole song other than the bridge, which uh, it's such a classic that I didn't even, rem when I heard the bridge, I didn't even remember or recognize it because I'm so used to the main part. But the bridge is that Hendrix major chord. And then it just does the Hendrix major chord a whole step down. Then that A major inversion back to the E. So it's just these three voicings. And so that A major inversion's just from that. And I was just playing it more as a little triad. But if you know that one, you could do that. So. And so the, those are the chords of the bridge and then you're right back to hope you guys enjoyed the lesson thank you again for hanging out if you haven't once again i appreciate you subscribing here to the channel and then also i've got all kinds of helpful links down there including free courses thank you for that extra support hope to see you again soon take care